what it is, what is it is. I mean, what we know. So they are steering the beam in. Yes, this is on ZDCs. So we are we are finding the beams. Yeah. So we have the lead Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the no, problem? Not positive. Not positive. Not So we had more background uh, yeah. Some the yeah. Yeah. Uh, we And the the director was talking to Carl. Stating it, stating some connection. Yeah, this is really a, a magic moment for Alice uh, and for the heavy ion community in general, which is the present, of course, also in, in, in Atlas and in CMS. This is a, a moment which we've been waiting for for some 20 years. Our goal is, uh, is to really uh, go a step beyond what has been done by nuclear uh, physics so far, which is in, in its uh, high energy frontier, which has been to uh, find signals that uh, reveal that uh, indeed a phase transition to a core gluon plasma has taken place to a regime in which you can really study the properties of what of the state and uh, the high energy that the LHC has gives you a, a whole world of new tools that you can use uh, to actually study this, uh, this state. It's now just about two days uh, after the LHC switched the first time from protons, which we've been running now for uh, almost a year, to heavy ions. And the startup was really excellent. So <clears throat> everybody was hoping that the machine would behave equally well with heavy ions as it would with protons, and it behaved even better. So after a little bit more than 24 hours, we had already the first glimpse of collisions on Sunday and uh, Saturday night at 1 o'clock in the morning. The Big Bang starts here. Today we are here. Uh, what we want to study is this region, uh, the first time that the universe did not consist only out of elementary objects, but uh, when these elementary objects coalesced into combined objects, protons, uh, neutrons, and later on nuclei. And having this huge energy, uh, we should really go further away from this phase transition into this high temperature phase when the universe uh, had no uh, structure, had no uh, complex particles, only individual and fine particles.
was checking just now. Let me see. But you are on or not? The high voltage is on. The high voltage is on. Go ahead. What's the line? Yeah. No, that's not the issue. So that there aren't two steps or anything no. else. No crossing angle, then yeah, no, point collision. The point is, I think. Oh, zero. Basically, now they have collapsed about. The lowest trigger on? The rates are going up? Yeah. Yep. Starting with them? Yeah. yeah. Don't have a nice trigger. Sorry. We don't have a nice trigger. Good, good. Have you seen new events now? Look, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the heavy iron event. This is amazing. And we've stayed a beam. First done our best in simulation. Yes, so this is you know. oh! Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that's not bad. That is within 35 minutes. So we just started collecting data with heavy ion collisions at, at the LHC. We have stable beams for the last couple of minutes we are working. CMS is working beautifully. We are collecting data with all the detectors, calorimeters, tracker, muon chambers, and uh, so this is the beginning of new era, new physics program, highest energy heavy ion collisions ever achieved, highest temperatures created in the laboratory, and uh, we expect uh, lots of interesting new results which have to do with uh, how the universe was behaving at the early stages, at the early first microsecond. Now, Now I don't remember what I did with my bag. Many people have been actually, we've been waiting for years for this. And it, it's very exciting that, that, that this time has finally come, that we get to look at the data. And the last two or three days have actually been the most exciting I've had in years. The events look... Uh, beautiful. I, I think uh, all of us who have been involved in this uh, preparations for some time now uh, are very excited to see these plots of thousands of tracts and uh, even tens of TEV deposited in the detector, which is, has uh, really never been seen before. And, uh, there's more energy deposited in the detector than in any proton-proton collision for some of the most energetic events. It's really quite fascinating.